Okay, well today we are in Frederick, Maryland, and we are at the West Patrick Street Goodwill. Um, and we're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. All right, well, we're heading to the back of the store. Let's see what we can find. Well, it's not very crowded in here today, so that's nice. Hopefully there's some treasures to be found. Uh, lots of Avon bottles. Some figurines in the back that really don't interest me. This is a vintage phone. An undressed lady doll. Nothing for me there. What in the world is this thing? That is just crazy. Um, it is a uh, applied coloring, so it's also trying, starting to chip off. There's a little baby made in China. That's kind of cute. And then over here, I walked right past that hedgehog and a paperweight. This is likely made in China. You can tell the bottom is kind of yucky. And uh, it also has a bruise. So the fact that it's made in China and it's damaged, I don't really want that. There's a cute little, uh, what is this thing called? A peacock. There you go. $4.49. Um, the tail is interesting though. It looks like one of those shoehorns. Right? Isn't that what it's called? There's some of the stones missing though. So, hi. Hi, how are you? Doing good. Doing all right. Good. I'm gonna leave that behind because of the damage. Here's a picture. That is Portugal. I like that uh, the white is kind of faint. You can see the red clay underneath it. And this in the back. That looks like maybe it's a Williamsburg reproduction. Yeah, uh, Williamsburg right there on the bottom. Originally $13.95. Hey, look what we have here. Those are exciting. $6.49 on that. And how much on this? Amber, $6.49. I'll take those. Um, so I think the last time I found these, I thought that they were Atterbury Scroll, but they're not actually Atterbury Scroll. I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on those. Um, but yes, I love that they're vintage. I love that we've got two colors happening there. Oh, look, is this, is this the right one? No, this is Fifth Avenue. What's happening here? <laughs> Made in Spain. It looks just like the Coast of Boda, right? Isn't that what we're supposed to look for? The little, no, the, we're supposed to look for the green stem. That's right, okay, so there you go. Fifth Avenue Crystal does the black stem. We're looking for the green stem. What in the world is this thing? I don't know what this, this is not a decanter. It's a whole sculpture. It's a whole thing. It's an art thing. I do like these shakers back here. I was kind of like, do I, do I like those? I do like them. I decided after looking at them for a minute that yes, I do like them. Um, <laughs> so. These are um, red clay, I would say probably Central or South America, and they are really colorful, and they are shakers. So I'm gonna grab those. There's actually two sets. Uh, there's another set right here. So I'm gonna grab both of those sets. I think this one is probably my favorite, but they're both really fun and colorful, so we'll grab both of those. That's kind of wild looking. I wonder what the purpose of that is. Obviously, it's a little shelving unit of some sort, and the end does not want to go in there. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it work. All right. Even though I really love this cabinet, I think it's super cool. There's just something going on here. I think it is supposed to say cat, fox, sun. I switched the F in the end thinking that maybe um, it would go in. Like, maybe it just wasn't working. But I think something's, like, off. You can see there's extra space here. I don't know what's happening. Um, and one of the feet just happens to be in a drawer. So I love the colors. I think it's really cool, but we're gonna leave it because <laughs> it's just too much trouble. What is this thing? This is kind of wild. Um, it looks like grapes, but it's kind of folded up on the side. That's interesting. Avocado green. Probably a little bit of money to be made there. Uh, I think maybe I'll grab that. It's vintage, it's art glass. Check out this fancy painting of a koala bear. Oh, I guess they're not koala bears. They're, they're, the correct term is just koala. 
Check out this fancy painting of a straight koala. It is Giselle. Giselle painted that. She did a wonderful job. Fantastic. They just happened to wheel out a fresh cart. That's so exciting. I was also eyeing up this in the back. This sculpture is really great. So I think I'm gonna grab that. It's so wonderful. Um, what else do we have? A little carnival. I like that cake plate. There's Kaiser. It's like a serving dish. I don't know for $6.49 though. I don't really need any serving dishes. There's a fishy. That is made in Mexico. It's weird because he's just supposed to... Oh no, maybe he does hang on the wall. I think he does hang on the wall. He's really colorful. I also really love this planner in the back. I think it might be vintage. It's just really colorful. Um, it says something. <laughs> I can't quite read it, but I love the colors on it. So I think I'm going to grab that and maybe stick it in my booth. And I think that's it for me. Well, that was exciting. So I got a few pieces off a of fresh cart. I wasn't even expecting a fresh cart because honestly, when I walked in, they were like just finishing off, putting back, putting away um, the last few items from a cart. And I thought, oh, well, I must have just missed the carts. Um, and then lo and behold, they wheel out a fresh cart. So that's fantastic. Um, I love this and I've actually had a similar pieces in the past. I think these are made to look like uh, Mayan or Aztec uh, primitive pieces uh, for $9.49. Um, I just love this and uh, yeah so we have like a nice mix of pottery in here today and this just has really fun colors I believe it's a planter and it'll sell in my booth all right and I just filled out yet another cart so I'm gonna circle around and go check it out all right I'm gonna just check here they have these Polynesian cups I remember looking those up in the past and they just didn't sell for very much so I'm not gonna mess with those uh, down here, collection of dishes, not much on here. Those are kind of fun, but I don't think they're sterling. Hmm, there's two of them, but I think they're just real beat up. <laughs> that is a gorgeous platter. That was definitely not here the first time I walked down the aisle. $12.49. So pieces like these are great right now because of the holidays people are actually buying. I've sold a, quite a few serving pieces that have been sitting in my booth all year long and now they're finally selling. Um, so I think this would be a great addition to my booth. Um, it's $12.49. And I don't see a marking on the bottom. I'm surprised it's not signed. But I really love it. I love the subtle colors. So I was on the other side of the aisle and I noticed a few uh, paintings over here that I wanted to get a closer look at. I think that these are reproductions though. Yeah, they are. I'm <laughs> like, wait a second. Now that I got closer. What is it? It is uh, Janet Weed Beaver. Designed exclusively for Southern Living. Yeah, you know what? These actually got me before. I've been got by these before. There is a case space in the back that I didn't notice on my first Time down the aisle. I'm gonna get my cart out of the way. Oh, there's no markings on that. That's nine dollars and forty-nine cents. It's very translucent. Oh, it's very sharp on the edge too. Kind of interesting. It's polished. I don't know. It's giving me kind of mixed vibes. It's interesting that it's polished like that. Makes me wonder if it's something special. <laughs> Kind of put it back and regret it. $9.49 though. All right, I'm gonna grab it. And the reason I'm gonna grab it is because the color is not applied. You can tell because it's just polished so smooth here on the top that um, it's obviously not applied. The color is throughout the vase. It's got an optic look to it and I don't know. I'm just gonna buy it. You know, I can probably double my money at least for what it is, which is a really pretty green vase. We'll give it a shot. Maybe it's something, maybe it isn't, but I know I can at least make my money back on it. And I won't regret leaving it behind that way. Hey, look, there's two more. <laughs> I don't think those were there before, otherwise I left them behind. But they'll fall right through the cracks in the cart, so I'm gonna set them right here. This looks like a giant artichoke. <laughs> giant artichoke canister. 
Well, the last time I was here, I learned not to dismiss the baggy section because I found a bunch of the Wheaton bottles. So I decided to go through here just to make sure I wasn't missing out on anything. So far, it's mostly just craft supplies. There are a bunch of candles down here, but half of them are burnt. So that's not very exciting. Lots of candles over here, actually. Um, the back has some china and more candles. Those are actually Limoges. But um, I don't think they're matching saucers. I think those are different saucers. There is a gravy boat. That is a blue willow pattern, it looks like. It is made in England. Willow pattern. $4.49. As long as there's no damage on that. I, th I think that we actually got a gravy boat. I was looking for a gravy boat last year. I think I finally got one. But just in case I didn't, I'll grab that. And if I did happen to find one last year, then I'll just sell it. There's also some cloisonne in there I want to get a closer look at. Oh boy. Sounds like there's something inside of that container. It's $2.49. What do we think it is? I'm gonna check. Let's take a peek inside. Ooh, it's sealed shut. Okay. You know what? I kind of wonder if this is something. All right, so I gave the container uh, to the people in the back here at Goodwill. Um, and I guess they send those out. Um, but I guess I figured it that way in case somebody accidentally donated it, uh, they have the opportunity to possibly come back and get it. It's kind of interesting. Here we go again, more canisters. You know, I can't help myself. These are really cool though. These are every, ever D classic. Okay, and actually I think these are contemporary made to look old. So that makes me feel a little bit better. I think I can leave, I can leave these behind without feeling regrets. When they say that they're classic, they're probably not classic. Here's an artichoke to go with the big artichoke. Oh, there's two of them, we should put them together to go with the big artichoke cookie jar. That's kind of a cool piece of folk art. Not really sure what it's supposed to be, but it's $24.79. It's got this guy smoking a cigar on the front. It's kind of cool. And it signs, Mao something, 90 something. Is this an important person? Who is it supposed to be? $24.79. I, I don't know. I don't want to buy it if it's like some political figure. But also, maybe it's a cartoon guy. Looks like he's just going to work. All right, well, I picked it up to get a closer look at it, and the whole side is falling apart. So um, I don't think I'm going to take it with me because this is like... This is beyond repair. This is all rotted out. And um, yeah, it's just too much. It's, I'm gonna leave it. All right, well I figured we would look through the Christmas. I feel like I looked at that last time I was here. Um, there's a cute bear up here. Oh, that's a Boyd's bear. $5.49. Aw, that was a gift to Nicholas. That's really cute, actually. I might gift that to Laurel, because she loves bears. There's not a whole lot uh, to the Christmas section here at this Goodwill. It's kind of tiny. Um, but it's always worth looking, because I have found stuff here in the past. Oh my gosh, look at that nutcracker back there. That is so creepy. <laughs> On a scale of one to creepy, that's quite creepy. Um, there's an angel there. Hey, that doesn't belong here. Celadon glaze. Santa's missing an arm over there. Where is it? Giant coat of Christmas. Not much in there though. There's a figurine on the end top. Is he going potty? Oh yeah, he is. He's totally going potty. $3.49. <laughs> This is supposed to be the Christmas, but it must be someone decided they didn't want it. 
That little guy in there looks vintage. The bird. Okay. This is just funny because these are supposed to be faceless and somebody obviously didn't like that, so they drew a face on it. <laughs> And that makes it so much better. <laughs> Alright, well on that note, I think I'm gonna get out of here. Alright, well my total spend here at the Goodwill today was $96. And I feel like we did alright. I was a little nervous when we walked in and they were just finishing unloading a fresh cart I was like okay I missed the fresh carts because usually they come out in waves like a, a bunch of fresh carts will come out and then like an hour or so later another wave will come out and I was like okay I missed it that's okay there still might be some good stuff on the shelves and then next thing I know another cart comes out and then another cart and I'm like oh my gosh this is amazing um so yes Yes, we, we got the fresh carts today and that was really exciting and I got a few goodies off of them. Um, so I think we did all right. I think I said my total spend was $95, $96. Um, but I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna head on down the road. Um, and I think I'll see you there because it's a smaller Goodwill and it doesn't make sense to start a fresh video. So um, I'll see you at the next Goodwill. All right, so I'm gonna start here in the figurines and see what I can find. This puppy is absolutely adorable. I'm not really sure what's going on here. That's one solid piece. I thought maybe it was gonna be a trinket box. There are some figurines, 249. These are usually broken and it does look like something's missing here. He's missing a hand. The vase in the back is kind of wild, but it looks like it's possibly like a modern decorative piece that's made in China. This is interesting. What is this thing? I'm not really sure. Those are cute star plates. 1997 classic gold stars. There are a set of those. I'm gonna come over here and see what I can find. Um, we have a creamer. That's more modern carnival glass. I think that's like 1970s. There's a creamer back here. Maybe in Japan. Maybe that's a gravy. I was gonna say this looks old, but I think it's contemporary. It's like made to look old, which I think is called retro. I <laughs> think that's the term. It's down here. That might be Polish. Is it? No, it's Temptations. Not Polish. This seems to be a reoccurring theme these days because this is Margeline Bastion. <laughs> $5.49. Eventually I'm gonna have to figure out how to say her name because I just keep finding her stuff over and over again these days. Um, <laughs> but this is a music box. We should probably test it. There's a rabbit and some pointy-eared squirrels. I think it has been overwhelmed because it's not one to play, which is kind of a shame. I don't know if it's worth picking up if it's overwhelmed. Hmm, it could just be a decorative piece. I guess it depends on how much it sells for when it works. I think I'm gonna want to leave it since it's not working. And I'm gonna check out this folk art looking funny. <laughs> she's really fun. She's got a sweater. She's definitely folk art. There's no markings or signatures on her though. $4.49. Okay, well I think I'm going to leave today with this bunny. And I think that's going to be it. I think I'm going to leave that uh, music box behind because it's not working. And uh, I just don't think it's worth it if it's not working. Here is a pelican on a uh, thing. A pe it's a pelican. Um, I think I'm gonna grab this. I've noticed that a lot of brass has been selling in uh, knickknacks, so I'm gonna embrace it. I'm gonna grab some brass. Six dollars and forty-nine cents. This plate down here it looks like it could be. It is the forge. 
I know it's pretty rough. Okay, well my total spend there today was $12 and I bought two things. I bought the Brass Pelican and the Folk Art Looking Rabbit and that was all. Um, I didn't really find a whole lot there, unfortunately. I just haven't had, uh, you know, I had that real spectacular day sometime last year and um, now I always just stop in, do the rounds. Um, and I haven't, I haven't had a day like that since, but I at least need to always make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I will have regrets that I didn't stop. So I'm going to hit the road now. It's been a long day in Maryland. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you later.